Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Wasteland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Welcome to a version 3.5.0. This is a big update from what I've been reading, so let's get into it. Uh, so new region, the deep water. You'll dare, will you dare, sorry, to uncover the sinister secrets of the, um, the Bayou Shadows. Explore the rich fauna of Mississippi marshlands and mosquitoes. Don't forget your anti-alligator lotion. Gather your friends. Uh, to challenge the new Alliance Leagues, Rewards, and Luck Favor the Brave. Alliance Upgrade, all Alliance buildings got a new level, it's building time. Get five additional slots in each chest by upgrading them to the new max level. So that's just a bit of a briefing on the actual uh, update itself, but I am just looking right over on the actual Facebook page, on the actual dev post, there is a quite a bit to go on. So look, I would definitely love to sort of discuss everything in length here with you guys today, but at the expense of making the video too long, I don't really want to, I feel like it's probably not the best way of doing it. So let's do some briefing here. New region, the marshlands. Have you got your anti uh, alligator lotion with your partner? Think of getting one because we're going to the Mississippi swamps. Meet the new large region on the global map with a bunch of unique locations, new animals, new features, and of course, new enemies. Welcome to the Deep Order, the capital of the marshlands where smugglers, uh, sorry, and lawmen, progress and gloomy superstition, sorry, coexist, sorry, coexist, I can't even talk this morning, uh, side by side. Will you dare to uncover the sinister secrets hiding in the shadows of the bayou? Hurry up to board the LaBelle steamboat and figure that out. Please note, to unlock the marshlands region on the global map, you'll need to fix the sea boat on the pier location. Now, um, everything about the new league alliances, you can get more mug uh, sorry, nuggets with your uh, sorry, for, then your rivals. Um, so you can go to the gold mine for all from raiding uh, rival alliance bases, new leaderboards, changes, all participating alliances will get valuable rewards. Um, so yeah, so all these new things that are coming across with all Alliance Leagues are sort of, you know, in aid of, um, I guess with this new update, getting more resources with gold and all that sort of jazz. So let's load in, cause I haven't loaded into the game as you can see. Um, I'm definitely going to need to, uh, switch all these back on so we can get some music happening again, of course. Um, but aside from that, um, I'm not too sure why my music isn't, go isn't going at the moment, but anyway. We'll digress. I have a, uh, a ranch attack, which I have to deal with as well. But as we can sort of go here, these are the new areas of um, the deep water. So you've obviously got the port over there. You've got the bayou, which is a level 95 for those people playing at home. Um, so you've got all the um, fiber resources there at the bottom. And then you've got the cypress swale. Um, again, that's a level 90. We do have some um, I think that's cypress wood that, that you can get there, so you can get that in its droves. Uh, no metal, some fiber, and we've got a few bit of enemies. So they're the only ones that have opened up so far from what I can actually see. But it does show that there's going to be a lot more opening up uh, probably in the coming updates. But this is a big, big update now that we've got a little bit more uh, continuity and a little bit more information around the new areas um, for every, everything else. Everything else remains the same. There's really not much else out here that shows or suggests that anything um, is in any different. But let's head into my ranch so we can go and defend ourselves. Okay, let's go ahead and find these guys and hopefully they don't destroy too much of my base. Normally they were coming around here at one point, so I think they've moved their attack approach. So I'm guessing they're probably towards up the top end side here. No. Uh, let's have a quick squeeze over here. They're probably at the bottom by the process of elimination. Yes, they are. All right, you guys, get out or off my uh, base, guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I didn't have to do. I didn't want to do this, guys. But you know, you leave me no bloody choice. Down with you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so there is our little map ski. Pick up all of these guys. Loots and bits and pieces. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and repair all that. Look at that. Very, very good. So, new update, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below because I am extremely excited. I can't wait to actually get into the marshlands myself and move on to a, um, to a different location. So, once I get my steamboat um, all up and running, so I can... Well, you know what? We could probably go over to the steamboat today, but we'll... we'll what I do want to do is I want to sort of go through the alliance side of things as well and sort of discuss that um, at the same time. Now, that's my huge chest there. I do want to see the the upgrade path to the max. So I'm going to have to upgrade my floors and all that sort of stuff to get them to the maximum value. But can I? I cannot. So upgrade storage. Okay, so you need... Um, all steel parts, stuff like that. So I think there's, I think they're suggesting that there's one more level after this, because I've only gotten up to what is that T3? The big box is T3, right? So level four, yeah. So there's got to be a T5 version, which is probably um, you know alloy materials and all that sort of stuff that are involved. In. But the other thing that um, that caught my eye and my attention was the alliance side of things in general. So we're going to go over and head over to the alliance and suss that out and. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's just pick up those real quick. And can I get rid of them? Thank you very much. Thank you, Horsey. Um, actually, you don't act, have any um, oats, do you? So we'll definitely go ahead and uh, get some more oats for him. So I've been doing a lot of um, uh, alliance work anyway, to be perfectly honest with you guys. So let's um, find my oats. Don't know where they are, actually. I know I've got some. Here we go. Oh, I don't have much. To speak of, okay, well that's not good, but anyway, we shall persevere. So what I want to do is, I think I might leave those behind today, but I'm definitely going to pick up the small amount of blocks that I have at the moment. I thought I had a lot more, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. And I think I might take some of those with me. Why not? And I might take a few of those with me too. Very good. Okay, so let's head out and uh, let's actually, I think I've got some other things I want to pick up as well. Sorry guys. Part of doing this on the fly and live, so to speak, the um, being a little bit disorganized, but you know what? Let's roll with it. We'll make this a little bit of a fun one, part of the video, all that sort of good stuff. So let's head over to the Alliance. Now there was mention about rebalancing or bringing down requirements for the alliance now i mentioned this a very um well actually quite a while ago and i put this in the same context as when we were getting uh tier 3 to tier 4 tier 4 to tier 5 materials resources and things like that at the beginning very hard to come by and you have to go through extreme lengths to to obtain very little you know um uh, parts and resources and things like that right so the quantities were quite low now that that time has passed, a lot of it now have become more accessible. Well, they are, they will become more accessible, like they have, and it's happened. So doing it, so doing the uh, the alliance now should be a little bit easier for a lot of people. So let's go ahead and dump all of those in there at the moment. So I've got a little bit more now. Um, we're getting towards our power station, which is the first step here, and then we obviously want to get to the. Um, uh, the, what he called the actual mine itself. So if we get these two up and running, then we can start harvesting gold. And what that what does that mean for myself and my alliance? Well, we're going to be able to get to the steamboat, and we'll be able to get crack onto the uh, to the marshlands themselves. Now they did mention about um, lowering requirements. I don't see any requirements loading. Uh, sorry, uh, lowering here at all. But I think that's more akin to. Um, uh, after level one, so to speak. So I think that would be the the notion there. But anyway, so yeah, pretty much like anything in the game, everything else at the beginning when you first get these things do take some time. Now, when, when that time sort of you know passes and updates are available and they want everyone to sort of enjoy it, a rebalance will happen, and basically that will enable people to you know. Uh, experience the update a little bit quicker so for those people that are veteran players that have played the game for quite some time then they know what they know right for newer players I know it's a little bit difficult to sort of take in but 
expect it when you do get brand new things added into the game. It's going to take a little bit longer because materials are quite far in between and it's difficult for people to actually acquire those. So going forward, hopefully that should be a little bit easier for the rest of you guys and myself included at the moment um, with regards to the actual steamboat itself. Now I haven't um, completed it uh, myself, I'm still working on that at the moment so we'll head back I'll I'll pick up a couple of things as well in my stride um, and we'll head over to the steamer area um, but yeah I have been cracking away I'm getting my my bits and pieces and all that sort of stuff the rest of it um, but what I do need to do is I actually need to obtain uh, some uh, more nuggets so the way that I've been picking up my nuggets and things like that is I've been trading so probably not the most economical way of doing it, but as you can see, I've got all of those materials here, which I can handsomely, or handsomely pick up. So I need 30 uh, rope, 30 granite blocks, and 10 of those iron tools. Now, which for some people, it's going to be uh, quite expensive, and I don't blame them. It is expensive. It's not a cheap shout by any means of the stretch of the imagination, but by doing this, it ensures me that I'll be able to get on over to those um, those critical areas uh, sooner rather than later. So that is my focal point here. I definitely want to make sure that I can um, get to these lands as quick as possible. Albeit, I probably won't get there as some other people, some of you guys, because I'm sure you guys may already be set up with your alliances, um, as I'm not at the moment as quite there yet, but we're sort of getting there, right? So we're, we're sort of getting to that point where um, that we can start, you know, uh, mass producing and getting uh, gold nuggets, you know, quite quickly and things like that. So the, all these things will eventually come for me. Uh, not quite now, I'm afraid, but look, it is what it is. Uh, I'll still work on things. I'll still get there myself. And um, yeah, eventually we shall, um, we shall hopefully... Um, you know start to experience and the benefits of what most of you guys have done so far. So yeah So I think I've got everything I need here. Let's duck out um, Actually, why do I only have one? Axe, I think I need a second axe here Or third axe I should say. Where? I thought I had one over here somewhere. I do not Not in here, not in there kind of like to have an additional axe of some description so let's just go ahead and make one up now anyway uh, not the carpenter's bench but we need the tool bench so which one can I make I can probably make this let's just go ahead and buy that and let's pick him up where did you get slotted in right there fantastic so we're off so this is how I've been doing it now for a lot of people as I said it's probably not the most economical thing to do, but I guess when you don't have the ability or the luxury of the Alliance it's, uh, itself, this is going to be the only way to do it. Now, I know I'm probably a few days behind since the Steamboat update had, um, had been released, so I'm sort of getting there and I'm sort of gaining all those necessary uh, unique parts and things like that. Um, so... I mean, especially when you have real day life and all that sort of stuff mixed in, you sort of kind of forget to, you know, come in here, turn these in, and then basically exchange them for, whoop, activation, thank you very much. It's a little bit laggy this morning. There we go. Yeah, so it's, um, it's a little bit difficult in doing it that way for some, you know, for myself, but for others, it's, you know, easy, it's easy enough. It is pretty straightforward. You gather those resources if it's within your best interest to sacrifice all three spots so you can actually get yourself um, uh, three nuggets which allows you to get th um, one piece actually funny enough they have increased it to, to uh, two so when the smuggler arrives keep an out keep an eye on it guys you can actually get two um, at once Per, um, per smuggler visit. So what that does is it's going to ex expedite the um, uh, the ability for you guys to travel over to the deep water and complete the, uh, the steamboat. So yeah, there's a fun little tidbit there for you guys. So just keep your eyes out on that. If you've got the nuggets, spend them. Get, uh, get the necessary parts for the steamboat uh, as quickly and as promptly as possible. 
Actually, I forgot to bring some alloy plates because I know I've got them ready. I just forgot all about them, but this is my progress. I've got everything for the alloy, uh, alloy plates, not a problem. This I can get quite easily, no problem with that at all. And I'm up to 28 uh, steamboat parts at this point in time. So over the halfway mark, it's going to take me probably 25 days or, or less than 25 days. So I'm hoping around about the 20 day mark. So in the next couple of weeks, I should be able to complete the steamboat, get all the necessary resources. What's, going to, what's holding me back is the Cypress boards. Now, I know there's been a bit of a discussion around the Cypress boards, and this is where we're going to now. Um, so, yeah, the lack of availability of said Cypress boards, which in, back in the day used to be called Larch boards. So I don't know why they changed that, but um, I'm sure you guys will know. So let me know in the comments why did they do that in the first place. But anyway, so each time that we are running into the ash grove here, there's going to be a little pocket of these um, cypress boards for us to pick up. And we have to defeat one of the, um, well, one of the more uh, tougher beasts in the game itself. So while I'm at it, I may as well pick up a couple of resources as I'm sort of uh, running along. And let's see if we can find the uh the said cypress boards hopefully they are not too far away okay they're not over here i think this is towards the end of the map here actually but where or where are my cypress boards or well, cypress logs really cypress logs to turn into cypress boards that's what we're after that is what we are wanting to get um no it's not here what the hell where, where are they where are you guys? Okay. Okay. I don't see them. Checking out everything on the minimap here and I'm not seeing anything. What the? Get the hell out of here, bandit. Get out of here. I'll take that. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm not even looking at what's going on here and I'm getting railed here. Okay. So let's just pick up some of those. I'll take some of those. Um, I'll leave the black wolf alone. You guys can take out the uh, buffalo for me. And once you've taken out the buffalo for me, I shall take you out myself. So I can get some of those um, nice, good leather. Oh, normally they come up with the tier five stuff. Well, some do, not all of them. Hey, get out of here, you. Get out of here. And I've been on the crusade of picking up a lot of linen as well, so they're, they're one of the things I've been trying to chase down. But anyway, I'm sort of mis, um, getting off topic here, as I tend to do, as you guys would know. Uh, if you guys know me quite well, you know I ramble, you know I talk, you know I go off topic in a lot of exchanges. But for some reason I can't find any of the Cypress boards here and now. Which is annoying. So I'm going to have to leave and come back and see if we can reset the um, the old map here to see if we can, um, you know, get us the the boards and the logs that we seek. So the reason why I'm sort of bringing this up here, this is what sort of slows us down in terms of progression, right? So this is our classic example that I just sort of mentioned a little bit earlier in the um, in the video here. So. Certain resources are hard to come by, especially when they're not made uh, or mass ma uh, made available because of their rarity, um, especially to sort of stunt things like progression. So that's that's the whole side of things. So once the developers are competent enough, or not competent enough, sorry, are comfortable enough to, I guess, release uh, an update to the game where they're able to allow the players now again this is important okay here we are this is this is what we're after right so once the the developers are comfortable in allowing for the um the game to be progressed a lot more uh you know linear so to speak instead of a gradual approach oh i only got one that was disappointing um then they open up the floodgates so to speak right so Things like the Cypress logs, boards, will become a lot more, you know, user-friendly to come by. At the moment, they're not. Now, the reason for that is that we don't, they don't want the uh, players to get too far ahead of themselves. Now, granted, there's, depending on people's commitment to the game, 
some people will get there sooner than what the de uh, developers would anticipate and this does happen quite a lot it's not something that's uncommon or unheard of because it happens right so in saying that oh geez thought you were the old wendigo there but not so much okay typically i'd normally run out of the zone because they're definitely not worth it in terms of um taking out in terms of uh, you know what they give back to but anyway um yeah so in this exchange here once we've opened up this let's just take up all this i only got myself 15 logs it, so when you do that do the math on that basically it's not going to amount to a lot of logs it's going to take a little bit of time to produce those planks that will enable you to basically uh, complete that steamboat requirement right so that is going to be a bit of a bottleneck for some people for myself included um, so you can do what, like as I'm doing right now you can run up and back reset the zone and pick up the resources now what I should be doing is I should be clearing out the whole place myself I should be leaving my wagon at the interflu there running back and then basically um, picking up whether it be ash especially maple as well so I, I reckon a bit of both I should be doing um, but for the purpose of this video, um, I really just wanted to, you know, uh, extend my point to you guys and give you guys my thoughts and my opinions on, you know, the subject itself. So, basically, okay, I don't know what, what the hell happened there, but anyway. Um, so, once, if the, if the developers open it up, and I'm sure now that they've sort of given us all these other zones that we can visit once we get the steamboat up and running, I'm assuming that for newer players that haven't gotten to this point yet um, their, I guess their experience in getting to the steamboat will be a lot more easier, right? So that's what I feel, it's going to happen eventually but for now, I think it's going to be more for those uh, dedicated players that have already gone through the game as far enough as they have and that'll enable them to experience the new, you know, parts of the, the map um, you know, a lot sooner rather than later. And hopefully I'll be one of those people to bring you that content soon. Um, you know, so what's going to hold me up? So basically, as I mentioned before, um, the ability for me to pick up uh, all those uh, epic parts, uh, that's, got, that's going to basically hold me up for a little bit. And obviously getting these cypress boards, which at the moment now, you know, it doesn't appear that you're guaranteed to find them each time you enter the zone and as you guys are experiencing this. So... It is going to take a bit of grinding. It's going to take, oh, here we go. It's going to take a little bit of, um, you know, perseverance on my end here to actually, you know, get myself to that point that I can, you know, uh, craft all of these cypress boards and allow myself to, uh, why only one? That's so annoying. Anyway, uh, it's going to give me, yeah, all the necessary components that I need to rebuild that steamboat and then finally head over to the deep water lands and I'm really excited to show you guys this so like I said I'm still holding out for the fact that it's going to be um, some sort of industrial age if not it hasn't been specified already um, but I reckon from a um, uh, from a uh, progression point of view the swamp area is probably the first step to I guess supposedly the the next town itself or the next area or whatever it's going to be um, and I reckon it's going to be some sort of township, uh, kind of like Silverton, but more industrial. That's what I think it's going to be. But that's just my opinion. Ooh, nice. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. I'd be really interested to know what your thoughts are all around that. Make sure you guys leave a like. Comment down below, as I said. If you guys are new to the channel or not, and you haven't actually done so already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy and I will catch you guys in the next one.